Why is water important for rabbits? In fact, rabbits and other animals need clean water to live. But because it's so common, water and its important jobs are often taken for granted. Water makes up about two thirds of a rabbit's body. It helps the rabbit digest food, absorb nutrients, and remove waste. Considering this, why do rabbits need water? Roughly, rabbits need to consume around 10% of their body weight in water daily. Remember, your rabbit should always have access to a fresh water supply. It's common that in rabbits that eat more dry food, they drink more water as this can absorb water, increasing the need for them to drink more. Can rabbits survive without water? Rabbits cannot endure water deprivation for more than 24 hours, even less during hot weather, without serious health. Consequences. Also asked, should we give water to rabbits? Rabbits fed fresh foods or allowed to graze on grass will obtain much of their water requirement from this and may drink up 50% less than rabbits only fed on dry foods. Rabbits may also drink more in hot weather. Rabbits should be given pure water to drink, from the same souse as you'd use for drinking water. Water is vital. Rabbits must have access to plenty of fresh water at all times. Rabbits eating lots of fresh grass and greens will drink less, whilst those eating mostly hay will drink more. Bowls are better than bottles as lapping from a bowl is more natural to rabbits. The spout of bottles can easily get clogged, and will freeze in winter if your rabbit lives outside. Bowls will not get blocked, but they may get spilled or knocked over so it's a good idea to provide a bowl and a bottle if you can. Change the water in both daily, clean them regularly and keep them free from any slime or debris. It has four main functions, all of them absolutely essential. 1. It keeps every cell and organ of the body alive. 2. It is a major part of blood, and your rabbit wouldn't be able to live without that. 3. It keeps everything moving. In the gut 4. It flushes out excess calcium. Let's look at those last two functions in particular. The digestive system only works properly when it is well hydrated. Ingested food must be kept moist to allow it to move freely through the system. If it gets too dry it will block the gut and that leads to a very serious problem called gastrointestinal stasis or ileus. The longer the ingested contents sit in the large intestine, colon, more water will be drawn out of the intestines and into the bloodstream. This leads to more dehydration of the contents adding to the blockage, so delay in treatment can really add to the problem. When this is happening your rabbit will produce no droppings or only very small, hard ones and he'll have no appetite. It's life-threatening and you must get your rabbit to a rabbit-savvy vet immediately. Flushing out excess calcium unlike humans, rabbits' bodies absorb every bit of calcium from their food. They do need a lot to keep bones strong and teeth growing, but not as much as they absorb. Any they don't need will pass out in their urine, which is why rabbit urine can often be chalky. Too much or too little calcium can cause problems. Too little is linked with dental disease, whilst too much calcium causes urinary stones and bladder problems. Water is essential for making sure that what they don't need is flushed through the kidneys and bladder. If it builds up, they can get bladder sludge, bladder stones, or kidney stones. These are very serious conditions and avoiding them is better and far more successful than trying to fix them once. They've occurred. The level of calcium in urine will vary depending on your rabbit. Hot rabbits often drink lots of water to cool themselves down. Rabbits can also drink more while shedding or out of habit. It may be a medical condition such as diabetes, kidney disease, or dental problems. We'll find out how much water your rabbit should drink each day. In order to correct dehydration, extra water must be given to your rabbit. Sometimes this can be done by helping the rabbit drink. Some rabbits need to have fluids given by other methods, either by subcutaneous fluids, intravenous fluids, or intraosseous fluids. In order to correct dehydration, extra water must be given to your rabbit. Sometimes this can be done by helping the rabbit drink. Some rabbits need to have fluids given by other methods, either by subcutaneous fluids, intravenous fluids, or intraosseous fluids.